Good morning, I'm host Eric. Welcome to Talking with Famous People. Today, I'm going to be talking about an aspect of personality that I'm going to refer to as perspectivism and its relationship to the cognitive functions and also its relationship to the larger environment, the extent to which it's influenced by nature versus nurture, so to speak. So, regarding this issue of perspectivism, first of all, what is it? Perspectivism, I would say, is the tendency towards relativism, the tendency towards maintaining an understanding of multiple perspectives, and a tendency towards finding the validity in perspectives that differ from those which you identify as your core perspectives. In other words, it's about attachment to ideas. And I do believe that certain personality types are more prone to attachment to ideas than other types are. I think that this is going to come from a couple of different areas and whether or not your personality type is inclined towards becoming more attached to ideas or less attached to ideas is going to depend upon both your relationship to your cognitive models in the sense of what you use them for and number two the extent to which Perspectivism itself is prioritized as a value. So, the reason that's important is because, depending on your cognitive functions and the way they stack, you're going to prioritize either values or consistency more highly. So, you're prioritizing consistency of different things, I guess, is what it boils down to. You either prioritize consistency with the values, or you prioritize consistency with... Well, I mean, the rationalists would like to say with reality and with fact and stuff like that, and objective truth. But that's actually not what you're prioritizing there. That's not what we're prioritizing. We're prioritizing, instead of values, we're prioritizing... Uh, well, this is why I originally said consistent made the distinction between consistency and values. Because we're prioritizing consistency. Consistency between models and consistency with our understanding of uh, either ethics or uh, principalism or unexplained principalism, like, you know, law, for example. Which is, which is a, a stage of moral development below uh, understanding things from an ethical lens. Anyway, um... So, that value notion is, is arrived at differently than the models that the rationalists check for consistency. And it's arrived at through internalization of what other significant people in one's life consider important, but it's also attained through what I would call the introverted intuition, introverted feeling realm of dominance, which is those are the individuals who, in, who will most certainly intuitively feel the rightness and wrongness of things, even though we, we extroverted feelers understandably think of introverted feelers as being selfish, quote unquote. To say that they're selfish is to ignore that they maintain the fundamental quality of, of empathy that's common to all human beings, and that that is going to drive how they intuit about their values, which uh, they originally receive by internalizing what's important to those around them, sure, but they they check that for accuracy in the same way that the rationalist checks it for accuracy, except it's not in the same way. I mean, it's in an entirely different way, right? But they, they check it the same, but just in a different way. They check it with their feelings and their intuition. 
time.